Hello and welcome back, everybody. There's a big question in my mind, um, maybe not in your mind because you feel differently about Nurgle, but I have long had the question, why would you play as Nurgle in Total War War III? <laughs> Again, some of you may disagree with me. Is Nurgle fun now? I don't know. This honestly might be the first time I've played as Nurgle ever since Total War Warhammer 3 released, and I'm not even sure that I played as Nurgle whenever it did release. I think I may have played as Nurgle in a couple of online battles, and that's about it. Um, I am able to let you take a look here at Epidemius. I am loading into the Immortal Empires campaign. I have been busy looking at the Thrones of Decay content, and I will be able to bring you all some more of that next week in terms of the actual DLC. But as far as the free-to-play stuff, I am free to show you some of that. Now, I have not gotten to dive into this yet. Again, I've been diving into the DLC content, so let's take a look at this together. Now, CA has likely already released a video. Some of you are going to be in the comments saying, Air, I know this better than you because I watched the video. Well, I have not watched the video. I feel like I have been beyond busy from dawn to dusk with my day job and other stuff that had to be done at home. And so my time has been limited. But again, if you're willing to sit here with me, we will jump into this and we will start to learn some things here. So, Tallymen of Pestilence, how do they play? It says, Epidemius is, is Ner... Epidemius is Nurgle's chosen tallyman who must oversee his master's uh, domination of the world through the spreading uh, and cataloging of plagues. Um, as Epidemius's plagues spread far and wide between non-Nurgle victims, they can contribute to his tally of pestilence, greatly increasing his power. So the tally of pestilence is up here. And as you can see, um, when we get like one to four, we get a little bit of a research boost. Uh, five to nine, it's surging. We're going to get bigger boost uh, with passively under Urfather's gift. That should be interesting. Um, and then we're going to have uh, 10 to 19 where we're rampant and it starts to get even stronger. And then again, strongest yet when we get up here. So these tallies are going to be kind of like a faction currency in a way. But we also have an, uh, the infections and stuff, which this is probably in the other Nurgle factions. I just haven't played the other Nurgle factions. Um, so yeah, in any case... That's probably nothing new there, but um, let's go ahead and check mark this. Um, so we're supposed to engage the enemy. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of playing. Now, the starting army here, Nurglings, Plague Bearers, uh, Exalted Plague Bearers, Toads, Rot Flies. You'll be like, Air, where's the new units? I'm not able to show you DLC stuff yet. I don't know whether he starts with the DLC stuff, um, but again, I am allowed to show you Epidemius. Either that or I have broken CA's... Uh, covenants here and they are currently sending black helicopters to destroy me so one of the two can gain some infections here we can gain favor let's uh, do a little bit of army replenishment i want to say nurgle replenish is slow right maybe i don't know again been a long time since i've played as nurgle i'm assuming that we need to head over here yeah to finish off our initial settlement so we got the forest of decay um, which I'm trying to remember here. Withering Roots. Nurglings. So a lot of our stuff comes through these buildings. It has been so long since I have played any of this. It looks like it builds up in a tree here. So the buildings for Nurgle are very different. Fewer choices in some respects. And it's just kind of like a, it looks like a build up insufficient infection so we got to have infections to build these things up okay so that's where those come into play again been absolutely forever <laughs> um since i played this so we need to go earn us some infections i probably should have collected those we take a look at our buildings here growth nurgle corruption recruitment reduction replenishment infections 10 per turn and we get control that would probably be best in a smaller settlement um since it can be built there let's see if there's any of these larger chain settlements this one is a defensive building which would probably be appropriate we've also got this um uh cultist camp of medicine here we can increase plague duration and increase the chances of them spreading um normally i would like to build these buildings first but this one's not going to do me any good in terms of uh income or favor i guess in this case because we're not really looking at income i think i do have enough uh, let's see plague bears nerglings Forsaken might be interesting, and Marauders, and then Furies and Dogs. Um, Forsaken are a little bit quicker moving and could be handy because I have a number of Plague Bearers already. 
Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the situation. So if we move up there, I'm trying to move as far forward as I can, but stay inside my tail. Ooh, Beast of Nurgle, don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. If I, and if I remember right, too, when we do this recruiting and stuff for Nurgle, it takes them a while. Like, they have to actually health up. Like, I, I don't know. We'll see whether that's still the case, but I want to say that I remember that. Dang, man, I'm just going to, like, hardcore recruit all these units, because why not? Um, we not there we go. Yet. Yeah, they have to regain their, their health. That's what I was thinking. Nurgle recruits and... You've got to actually, like, build them up here. All right. Wasn't that a thing in Three Kingdoms as well? It seems like it was, and it, it was a thing that I didn't like, if I remember. <laughs> Maybe another reason why I never took to Nurgle back in the beginning either. Let's go ahead and replenish troops, because we're going to need to be doing that as quickly as possible. We need to get into some research here. we got faction and military. Let's take a look at some of these options. Uh... Magic item drop chance is always a good one. Control, line of sights. Yeah, this one's pretty nice here. Gives heal and vigor and an unlimited range for a duration of 12 seconds every 90 seconds. Affects five allies. In it. So that one's, I mean, that, that's a pretty nice ability. Let's go ahead and start there. And then we'll uh, work our way through. So we did some recruiting. We're going to try and do a little bit of replenishment. We're going to push into our enemies here. I, I don't know how much Nurgle campaign I'm going to play. Honestly, it depends on whether I start to find it fun. And it depends on how much you all enjoy it. Which, if you do enjoy it, please feel free to let me know. Um, but let's see what we get. I need to go look at the special abilities on our Lord as well. So let's go take a look at that before we forget. These turn-ins are a little bit long still at the beginning of Immortal Empires. I remember they got the turn-ins down a whole lot faster in Warhammer 2, and then we came to this big Immortal Empires map. And of course, it's just going to be long. Um, let's take a look here. Yes. <laughs> I like the, uh, the cherry sitting on here, the tally man. There he is, tallying the Nurgle bananas. Um, let's see, skills... Talia Pestilence, so this is going to be an augment over 55 meter radius. Unlimited duration increases with intensity with each nearby entity death. Up to 20% physical resistance, up to 15 attack, that's pretty significant. You get start getting a lot of kills, that is going to start to make his army significantly stronger. We have extra ammo for exalted plague bearers and drones. An upkeep production for the exalted uh, plague bearers and drones. Ox seedling, so population surplus for newly captured settlements. That's kind of cool. So you can grow the settlements a little faster. And then extra growth in the province. And then recruitment health. So you start with more health for all demonic units. Physical resistance for those same demonic units. Plague immunity duration, minus one turn for all future plagues. Interesting. So I guess that means you can reinfect people quicker. Um, and then Perpetual Pestilence here, extra hit points and Tallyman's Blades, which summons a unit of Exalted Plague Bearers. So that is a pretty good thing there. We got Slime Trail, which is going to slow stuff down, take away attack, hates Zinch, so you gain strength when fighting Zinch. And then we got the Locus of Virulence. Let's look at this here. Armor Piercing Weapon Damage, Melee Attack Buff, Bloated Carcass. All right, so some interesting um, epidemic outburst. Contagious explosion does not affect friendly troops. Allows chance to escape melee. Okay, so it's a way to get a unit out of melee. Wow, it slows things down a lot. So that is really cool. And then you got that here as well. Break. Moonmaker, Pestilent Decay. Now that sounds, yeah, brutal. It's a direct damage. Uh, he's got some interesting abilities here. Um, it's going to be curious to see how that comes into play. So let's go and move against our enemies. Unfortunately, we can't reach them. We're going to cease um, replenishment as well because we are deep into enemy territory. It takes just one blighted color. Uh, that would stop us from same. replenishing, or it would help us replenish faster, but we wouldn't be able to move for two turns, so... No thanks, Papa Nurgle. Let's end this turn. 
and see if we can get to the Tower of Flies. All right, we got through the turn end. Let's attack the Tower of Flies here. And this is going to be an easy victory, fortunately, because our army was not in great fighting condition yet. Um, you can see we can get extra infections from some of these options, but let's just go ahead and occupy for now. And we can build this building right here that will increase the infections per turn, so that will hopefully help us. And then we've got our first skill point here, another skill point, I should say, for Epidemius. Um, let's do this Epidemic Outburst, because that sounded handy for helping us um, get away and uh, slow down enemies. So let's also head over here to our Plague Ridden of Nurgle here. Asthma Pestilence sounds pretty good, I guess, if we're, if we're Nurgle. Sounds pretty bad otherwise. It's not something I would be sitting around hoping for. Um, we have recruited everything we can, at least at the moment, other than summoning a couple of extra Nurglings, which, I mean, why not put some more Meat Shield into the army? There's just really no reason not to. Um, we can issue a... We can get more infections per turn and spread Nurgle corruption. We can increase plague duration. We can get better control and growth, which early on, that's probably handy. So let's pick that. End our turn again. You know, I just got to looking, and off here to our west is going to be Ag Grief, and that is... That is not good. I do not want to fight them anytime soon, though I would imagine we likely are. Um, I need to try and get rid of the rest of these Zainchi jerks over here too. Let's keep pushing them. I haven't seen a new army from them yet, so it's so far so good. We're just kind of rolling through them. Let's remind me what I have to do to do the tally thing. Tally. How do we gain the tallies again? Counts the number of non-Nurgle armies and settlements currently infected by the plagues, the greater the number of infections. Okay, so we need to spread infections. And I'm trying to remember exactly how we do that. I don't know if we just need to start spreading our corruption, or we need to send an agent. Assault the garrison, no. Alright, I don't... I'm gonna have to go remember how to spread infections here. Oh, yeah, plagues right here. It says to become accessible after earning 200 infections. Dang, and I spent my infections already on a building, so that's the reason why I locked myself out of it. Nice, well done here. You're an absolute genius. <laughs> absolute genius. All right, Slime Trail, which is the passive ability. That is a Probably a good one. It affects all enemies inside of 15 meters. It's definitely not bad. Um, we are fighting Zinch right now, so hates Zinch. Could be good as well, but it's only going to last for a short while in a fight that we're already kind of winning by a long shot, in my opinion. We could put it right here, but it only affects that unit, so yeah, yeah. That's not actually that good. So Children of Nurgle is a nice passive here, so... Whenever we're casting a spell, it does a little bit of healing. So let's throw that in. And in yet another turn. So it's a couple of turns later. I took Volcano's Heart, I think, when you are watching uh, away from the Zinchian faction. I'm going to trade it over to Daniel and essentially uh, grab ourselves a military alliance with Daniel here early on. And hopefully that gives me a secure eastern flank. Now we will see what happens. Daniel. He is on the march right now against some forces of corn, and we'll run into Boris. On the mean, in the meantime, I have approached. Um, I wouldn't say ready to fight the Dark Elves, but accepting fate that I'm going to have to fight the Dark Elves here. Um, I do have access to some new units now, which would be quite nice, and I'm going to recruit some of those. I'm going to drop some Nurglings. Grab a couple of these units. This may put me... Actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. What, what just happened there? Oh, I don't have enough money. Um, let's... I had started some construction. Let's cancel the construction. Let's do some recruiting here. This is going to be more important at the moment. Um, I have four open slots, three units, so I kind of botched that just a little bit. Chosen of Nurgle, which we're not going to be recruiting right now anyway. 
Yep, all these different units. All right, we're going to hit recruit. So at least grabbed us a couple of Marauders and grabbed us some Forsaken uh, to improve our army a little bit before we have to go up against the Dark Elves. All right, I finally got enough infections. So let's take, take a look at the plague thing here. Um, so it's going to explain this to me. And unfortunately, I need to read this because I've just never really played with plagues. It says the plagues panel allows Nurgle factions to create plagues on the campaign map in return for infection. Plagues can cause positive effects for Nurgle factions or negative effects for non-Nurgle. All plagues are made up of three symptoms from the panel, each providing both types of effects. Let's take a little look. Selecting an available symptom it begins the creation of a new plague. After selecting a starting symptom, only adjacent symptoms may be added to the plague. Adjacent symptoms will be highlighted in the panel. Symptoms can also become blessed, boosting their effects. If a blessed symptom is used in a plague, it will consume its blessing, no longer having its boosted effects for the next one. It says when a symptom is selected for a new plague, its positive and negative effects for Nurgle and non-Nurgle factions respectively will be displayed. And then it says, once three symptoms have been selected, the plague modif modifiers will become available to improve the new plague. Plagues can have their duration and chance to spread increased at the cost of infections. That's rather nice. Um, and it says immunity duration can also be reduced as part of a plague's modifiers. And then before the plague can be created, it must be assigned a target where it will be released onto the campaign map. Only forces and settlements you own can be selected as a target revealed using this button okay it says once a target for your plague is selected you can choose one of two creation methods infect the infect option directly infects your force or settlement with the plague and the summon cultist brings forth a plague cultist who can carry the plague to infect enemies directly via their agent action all right and then finally it says for every three plagues created symptom locations in the panel will randomize and then any symptom previously used in the plague will become available as a starting symptom in future plagues. OK, all right. So we've gained some understanding. So we have to um, we have to grab a plague thing here. So all units suffer attrition. I hate this one when it gets used against me. So I'm going to force someone else to have to suffer it. And we get Vanguard deployment and the enemy gets slower speed. That sounds like fun. What's this here? Ooh, bounce bell gives us regeneration. All right, so there we've got our plague. So it's called liquefying lungs. So this should be quite nice. So we need to select a target. Summon a cultist. At the select target to bring forth a plague cultist. So we can pick a place and summon a cultist. Or I think we can infect. Selects this settlement as the plague location. Selects this force. I think if we select. Now we can either infect it or we can summon a cultist. I kind of want to take the cultist and walk. I don't know how much farther back into their territory we can carry this, though. The Zinch faction. I kind of want to summon the cultist. Blood the seed of melody. All right, we summon. Oh, man, I meant to increase the in infection chance. Crap. Oh, well. All right. So let's go back. So we have created the cultist. cultist. Let's send him on a mission. Spread the plague uh, here. To triple them. And get some good old Nurgle plague started. This should get our tally going here. Yeah, that did. So now we get increased research rate. And we also pick up the Ur Father's Blessing, which will summit a unit of Nurglings. Activates automatically when conditions are met. So units. It's not a loader hero. Hit points less than 10%. Okay. All right. So we have gotten our first plague going, which. Hopefully we'll start causing some attrition to enemy forces and let's maybe go ahead and attack uh, Bilius or sorry, Bilius Cliffs is ours. But there's no need to attack it. I'm going to actually um, I'm going to declare this war on no these guys. I kind of have a plan here, so still you come. let's uh, let's declare war War we're declared. Call our allies to help. And what we're going to do is I'm going to step up to that bridge in an ambush stance. 
I don't know that it's going to work, um, but at least I can try, right, to get into a good position here. And hopefully we can catch uh, Malice Darkblade off guard here. He may just kill us anyway because Nurgle sucks. I don't know. We'll see, and we'll just kind of see what happens. Well, we did not ambush Malice, but we get a chance to fight him here, and it says that we're going to lose, and lose badly. Now, that may be possible, because again, I don't play a lot of Nurgle, and it's hard to say, though I do have some Toads here where we can control um, some of his missile units, and my Plague Bearers should be better than Dread Spears, I would hope. I even have a Beast of Nurgle, um, so it's possible that we could do this. Malice is going to be the real issue here, because... He is uh, quite tough. Let's fight this battle. The battle's kind of getting started. I'm squared off with Malice. I'm going to try and single out this unit of Cold One Knights out here and bury it and Nurglings and, you know, Toads and just everything else I can throw at it here. I'm going to, like I said, try and just kind of get out here and bury it. We're, we're getting hit by a Black Arc, which definitely sucks hard. Um, I did put some Nurglings up front to absorb some charges and missile fire, and it is working rather brilliantly, if I might say so myself. I am going to charge forward into combat. I'm going to look for some holes in the lines and see what we can do here. Let's bring our forces up. Plague bears should do well in these fights, but um, our other units may not. What did we end up with? I'm going to try and... Okay, so this... This knight is utterly wasted out here at this point. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and swing in past all these units, see if we can get to their skirmishers. I don't really want to fight Malice. Um, just slowing him down would be worth my while, I feel like. And we want to just kind of bury the enemy in corpses at this point. Like, I'm going to take this unit of Forsaken through here. I'm going to try and pull this Marauder, and I'm just going to try. Um, let's do a summon right here to help keep Malice busy. Okay, all right. So again, just kind of working my way around. Here we go. We've gotten into the back of some of this mess. And I'm going to swing around and attack all of their key units here. I got a summon off right in the middle. Alright. I've got another unit ready to kind of make its way into the flanks. I feel like if we, if we can keep Epidemius alive, I'm going to kind of keep dancing here. I've tried to get into their skirmishers. That cold one knight is being wasted out here, just piled thick with nerglings. Unfortunately, we are not having perfect success, but in some areas of the map, I feel like we're having some success. Where's my beast o Nurgle? It's over here by Malice. I don't really want that fighting by Malice. It's getting completely owned right now. I'm going to try and heal it and move it further over here while I destroy some further units. I'm going to move this over here. All right, so there we go. We got some good heals going on right now. Okay, these units are going to get overwhelmed now, so let's pull out of that. Our rot flies did do some work. They're now under some pretty heavy fire. My Forsaken are having a hard time killing those hand bows. I keep getting stuck in this fight. That is not what I want. Let's maybe combine forces here against this master. And then I'm going to bring some Nurglings in here to just try and help pile some numbers in our favor. For unfortunately for me, Nurgle sucks. And we are feeling the effects of Nurgle's suckery uh, at the moment because we're just up against Dread Spears and we are still struggling to have any good effect on target here. I'm going to try and push again. I'm going to see... If well, no, we're going to have to maybe triple team Malice here. And then I've got this unit. Let's push it through. All right, so our flies finally got some good effect on some of their skirmishers. Some of their skirmishers, mind you, not all. I'm trying to, like, just bully and triple team my way into, like, Malice, but it's not really a grand strategy for me here. Yeah, now we're just getting drawn further out of it. We don't want to do that. Let's get back over here. 
within cover. All right, we just cleaned up a fight so we can spread these units out and re-engage them. They still have a few skirmish units left, so I have to be careful of how I engage them. Got a little bit of mobility left on my side. Let's heal up my beast of Nurgle here. Oh my gosh, we're getting crapped on again. I'm going to pull these big units back for a minute, and I'm going to try and do a very nurgly thing here and just, again, bury these guys in corpses full of hit points and see whether or not we can survive. I'm trying to single out their skirmishers, but I am struggling to get their skirmishers singled out. We are struggling to do much of anything here, if I'm being honest. Let's see if we can spread some plague through here. Heal our guys a little bit, because we're going to cast a spell. And let's once again, can we... I just, I cannot get their leaders dead, unfortunately. All right, yeah, now here we go, here we go. I'm going to be able to maybe get a good rear charge in here, but we're still facing their leaders. Let's maybe slow down Malice a little bit. Spread some of that plague. Let's go see if we can kill this guy here. He's got very few hit points. We got a really nice rear charge in the back of those Black Ark hand bows. Let's maybe bounce over to the Medusa and then bounce back into this fight quickly. Let's get back over here, guys. Get in the fight. Get in the fight. Maybe we can do this? I don't know. Oh, this guy has hardly any hit points. Someone knock him out of the fight, please. All right, let's do a rear charge here. So I'm going to try and kind of fully bounce these toads back and forth here. See if we can find some good effect. I kind of got my leaders and my beast up here on a flank. We did. Oh, yep. We killed that second lord that was in that army. That's huge. That feels like that feels like a win. And we're getting hit by some hand bows back here, and I do not appreciate that. Let's get after this Medusa. And let's cycle in these toads again. Just kind of come charging here. I feel like we are wearing down the enemy infantry, which might make it possible for us to win. Did my Nurg oh, my Nurglings buried that knight. Wow, talk about a healthy trade for me and a poor trade for Malice. All right, so basically I've just been avoiding fighting Malice and that seems like a strategy that's probably gonna carry the day here, though this will be a somewhat Pyrrhic victory. If it's a victory, we still haven't won yet. Still gonna deal with Malice. He is very difficult to deal with. Pretty impressed so far, though, by the performance of Epidemius here. He's got decent melee stats, decent armor. Let's keep our Beast of Nurgle. Keep casting spells here, because I think it gives me a little bit of heals. A little bit of ammo left on some of these units. Let's bring these units back over here. I'm gonna use my rock flies to clean up those dread spears. Man, we are really struggling to put that Medusa to bed. Like, I mean struggling. There we go. We finally put the battle away and it was really just, we had a superior blob in one spot. We were able to use it to gain an advantage and just finally put an end to all this. So, Whew, that was insane. I really want to get rid of Malice here, so I'll see you all back on the campaign map. All right, well, somehow we survived the battle, um, which was really good. And at this point, I know how important infections are, so I'll probably just go ahead and take the infections. Um, so let's go ahead and start piling those. That was a big victory for us. Anyway, there you go. A little bit of introduction to the Epidemius campaign. Um, if you want to see me play more, we can. Um, so anyway, it's the, the, the free LC or free content uh, coming alongside Thrones of Decay. Air of Carthage signing up for now. I will see you all soon with some more action from Total War Warhammer 3.